Hello friends, my name is Akshat and welcome to my channel. So this is a question from the Mokwita round 2 that was held on 17th of July. So this is the first question of it. It's name it Swayamvar. So it is a very long question as you can see here, but it's not really complicated at all. So just go through the problem description. A ceremony where a bride chooses a groom from an area of eligible bachelors is called Swayamvar. But this is a Swayamvar with difference. An area of bride-to-be will choose from an area of groom-to-be. The arrangement at this Swayamvar is as follows. Brides-to-be are organized such that the most eligible bachelor rate will get first chance to choose a groom. Only then the next most eligible bachelor rate will get a chance to choose a groom. So you can see that there is a lot of point. Uh, just to save the time, you may read the problem description once and pause the video, read it once and then play back the video. I'll just skip to the main part of the question. By the length of the question, you can see that it is a very complicated question. But as soon as you will keep on reading it, you will, it will seem that it is a really very easy question. The length of the question is just to make the question look very complicated. So the main point is here. The selection criteria is as follows. Each person either drinks rum or mojito. Bride will choose groom only if he drinks the same drink as her. So this basically means that if bride chooses M, then the groom she is looking for is only of M. She will not be going to marry any of the person or male uh, who drinks rum. Okay, so there are equal number of brides and groom for the swimmer. Okay, so now let, let look at the constraint. So by the constraint, we can see, we can observe that this question can easily be done in the time complexity of O of n square. Since it's 10 to the power 4, so the 10 to the power 8 can easily be accepted by the program. So let's go to the input format. So the first line contains the integer n, which is not a number of brides and grooms. Second line contains a string in lower case, which of course can containing initial state of brides to be. And third line, third line will consist of the groom that the groom is choosing the moito or the rum. So let's just go to the example. So here you can see that the bride is R, R, M and M. And the groom is M, R, M, R. So what it basically wants that it will start from the head of the or you can say the head of the list of the bride first. So it will see that here is a rum. Okay, so now she is looking for a partner who drinks rum only. So this rum get matches to this rum. So this is one pair. Now she is looking for another partner who drinks rum. So it matches with this one. So it's again one pair. And this one matches with the moito, and this one matches with the moito. So basically, all the couple would be married to each other, and so there would be no couple left at the remaining. So the answer would be zero. Um, this is the explanation for the first example, and you can see it here also. The bride at the first place will only marry groom who drinks rum, and so on and so on. So you can see that they have updated the queue first to look at it in the organization so to look at it in the organized way with the bride but that is not at all necessary while programming okay so let's go to the example two so the example two is saying r m r m and the groom is m m m r so here you can see that first the bride has is wanting the partner to be rum who drinks rum so she gets a match with her now she wants a partner to match with moito 
so it gets matched with this so see now again since she wants her to her partner to be drinking rum and there is no rum player left in the groom part so now this is the position where you have to break the condition that after this no one would get a match because first uh, this r has to be completed before the this one m so the first priority is given to the previous one in the list previous element of the list so we can see here also the explanation that two pairs will be left unmatched that is this r and m would be left unmatched so let's go to the coding part of it okay so is it yes so this is the uh, just a minute yes so this is a, a number n so i have taken the variable 4 into it you can see then it is a crime uh, bride i have taken it as a list and then it is a group i have also taken it as so bride will store it like uh, r m r and m so the elements would be stored in this way basically since it is an since it is an input here so it will first take the input elements in the string and then by applying the list operation on it it will convert it into a list so the same goes with the groom and i have taken two variables uh, actually these are not necessary at all so i am just looping in with the pride so what it will basically go it will first loop through the element r oh, wait let me write for the groom part also m m m and r okay so first the bride will go to the r the i will have the r in it and then it will check if this particular element is in the groom list this is the groom list is r is here so it is here so what it will do it will just after performing this operation when it will find then it will just remove this element so this element would be removed from here so again it will loop again and the next element would be m so the program would the if condition would check if m is in the groom yes m is also there so it will delete the m also it removes the m then again it will go to the next then again it will check for the condition r so is there any r in the groom part so it will say no there's no r in the, so this means basically this is the condition where the our for loop has to break since if there is no partner matching rum with her then the program cannot continue it has to stop them because then the swimmer would be cancelled for the rest of the girls because it is in a priority queue base so it i have just break it and at the end i have just printed the length of the groom so it will return to uh, let's just run it once four r m r m m m m r okay so it's returning the correct answer as expected uh, talking about the time complexity of it since it is one for loop it will go for the complexity of o of n but as you can see here there is the condition in uh, there is an operation in which is checking whether the element this element this particular i element which is looping is in the next is in the list or not so the time complexity of this particular in operation in a for a list is also o of n so it basically into o of n so that's combined to give the time complexity of o of n square although it can be done easily in the time complexity of o of n also but since in the question we have given the constraint to be as 10 to the power 4 so we can just simply do it in the o of n square also so thank you friends uh, if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel 
and if there is any query you have in your mind then please drop it out in the comment section below thank you